let's take a look at the statements on this chart. Good evening, Janet. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? All good, teacher. And in you? Uh, I mean, everything's right, too. Thank you. Okay, teacher. How was your day? Tired teacher, but all good. Your okay. day? Well, it was good too. I didn't have much to do, just a meeting in the morning. And then, well, I had to prepare some classes. And yeah, that was a busy it. day. Um, not so busy. So, so. Yeah, just a little to do. Uh... <laughs> So what's the weather like in there, Janet? It's raining, but for part? Oh, okay. Only. For part oh, of right. Santa Ana, uh -huh. Only in some in, parts, in, in your, some areas. In your case? Well, here it hasn't rained much. It's just been pouring a little bit. Um, yeah. Not much. A little. Exactly. Just a little. In other place, rain much? Yeah, that's right. I've heard that in some places it has been raining a lot. But yeah, yeah. thank God we are fine, right? Yeah, it's, 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 it's interesting how, no. And the weather. Sorry, what did you say? Is interesting. Oh, how the weather behaves. Uh -huh. Yeah, how it changes, right? It changes in so fast. Yes. And yeah. It's very impressive. Very impressive. Yes. So, Sería como ve bastante impredecible o como. Eh, no, no, eso sería impresionante. impresionante. Impredecible como que cómo se podría decir? Yes, that is unpredictable. Unpredictable. Yes. Ah, thank you, teacher. There it is in the chat. Unpredictable. Unpredictable. Um, ¿Aplica para todo impredecible o solo para cosas, para cosas así específicas? Como por el contexto, no. It's a general adjective. 
you can apply it to different uh, um, situations. Y si digamos, he is unpredictable, uh -huh. aplicaría. Ah, es como yeah. a veces como que cambia, depende de... Unpredictable. Yes. Unpredictable. <laughs> ya aprendí algo nuevo. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So, how are you doing with the work in the platform, Janet? I work a little, teacher. Okay. Sí, pues soy sincera, un poquito trabajado. Pero ahorita ya me pongo bien, bien, bien al, al día. All right. Uh -huh. But you're in section start. five already. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Then we're just fine. We have, um, let's see, tomorrow is Thursday. So only two days to finish, right? Oh, uh, okay. Teacher, se fijaron que poquitos entramos a clase. Yes, that's Pero right. ¿De cuánto es el grupo? Como de 15 va. Fíjese que en el grupo de WhatsApp tenemos, eh, creo que alrededor de 25. Entonces, Ayer me fijé yo que solo, de, solo ocho habíamos sí, en la reunión. Pocos, pocos han estado entrando, como con eso que cada uno con su trabajo, hay unos que incluso trabajan horario nocturno y todo eso. Entonces sí. es bien difícil. Y la verdad es que sí, porque yo, yo eso me estaba fijando ayer, pero cuando ya terminamos la, la sesión, ve solo ocho, dije yo. Poquitos. Yes. yes, only few participants. Good evening, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Oh, oh, great. Uh, so, so uh, a little cool. Oh, yeah. It's cold, right? It's dead. <laughs> yes. Has it been raining there where you live? Oh, yes, um, 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 a little. Just a little, okay. Sí, just a little. All right, and how was your day? Um, well, um, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. How was your day? How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Okay. And how about the platform, Carlos? Uh, yes, teacher. I finished platform. Oh, you Today. finished? Nice. Did you get yes. the diploma? Uh, uh, no, no, no bill. Okay. No, 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 no bill. Um, today uh, at night. I finish at night. At night. Oh, all right. Okay. I have. Uh -huh. Okay, that's good. Okay, teacher. Excellent. Thanks. Good evening, Thanks. Tamara. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. And you? Never ask you. Uh, good. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. Excellent. <laughs> How was your day? Uh, good. Uh, uh, so cold, but it's okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, this weather is nice for sleeping and also drinking coffee, right? Or chocolate, hot chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. <Yeah>. Yes, <laughs> right. <laughs> and how about the platform, Tamara? Did you have any time to work in the platform today? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and you forget. Okay. So don't worry, but just... Remember, we only have two days to finish, okay? Lo que no se entiende muy bien, ¿cuántas secciones hay? 
eh, son cinco secciones. Entonces, en la sección 3 también tenemos un examen que es el de medio curso, midterm test. Y en la última uh -huh. sección, la número 5, tenemos el final okay. test. Sería eso, las cinco secciones okay. que incluyen ejercicios y los dos exámenes. Ok. Ok. <laughs> Just remember to keep going and try to finish with all the work in these two days, ok? Because we finish on Friday and everything's done, ok? Yes. Yeah. Good evening, Selena. How are you? Great. How was your day? Oh, it was relaxing? Nice. That's pretty good. What did you do? Sorry, can you repeat that? Housework. Oh, just doing housework? Okay. All right. That's nice. And how about the diploma, Selena? Have you checked? Did you get it? Okay, that's great. Congratulations. All right, good evening, Gabriela. Good evening. How are you? Very well. Okay. Thanks. Great. So how was your day? Gabriela, how was your day? Hello. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Fine. Just fine. Did you have to study today? Yes. Okay. That's great. All right. So I think we're ready to start with the class. We're just a few, but let's just start and let's wait for the others to join us. So let me see. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do today is to play this game, which is called as many verbs as you can. So I need you to get a pencil or pen and some paper or maybe a notebook. Okay. So please get a pencil or pen and some paper. We are going to write some things. So I am going to tell you a letter and you are going to write, you are going to have a 30 seconds, 30 seconds to write as many verbs as you can that start with the letter I tell you. For example, if I say verbs that start with the letter M, what verbs can you mention? Make. Make. Made. <laughs> Any other? Move. Mineral. And um, that is in a verb. So remember that when we say verbs, <laughs> talk about actions, okay? Don't worry. Just okay. remember, verbs are actions. So, well, that's Move. what you have to do. Move. Mm -hmm. Mary. Mary, Walk. very good. Okay, so that's the idea. You are going to write as many verbs that start with M as you can in the 30 seconds I give you, okay? Write a notebook or? No, just in a piece of paper that you have there or in your notebook, or it could be maybe in your cell phone, just whatever you prefer, okay? Los puede escribir en un papelito okay. que tenga por ahí, en su cuaderno, si quiere utilizar su teléfono, también está bien. 
So I'm going to tell you a letter and you have 30 seconds to write as many verbs as you can. So let's see, our first letter is the letter P, P. Letter P, start writing. Letter P. All right, stop, stop grading. And now let's check. So how many verbs did you get? How many verbs that start with P did you get? Let's see. Selena, how many did you get? Teacher casi no le entendí, pero dijo verbo con sí, con P, ¿verdad? Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. Seis. You got six. That's a good number. Can you say them, please? What verbs do you have? Paint. 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 Okay. Say. All right. Peel. Peel. Um, Is that what you said? No sé cómo se pronuncia. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Creo que se dice P. Okay. P. Sería P. L al final. No es. Oh, okay. Yes. Peel. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? That is peel. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. That's it. All right. Excellent. So you got six. How about Gabriela? How many did you get, Gabriela? Um, How many? Program. Program. Oh, you got program. Okay. What else? Practice. Practice. Good. Present. Present. Nice. Any other? Present. Okay. Protect. 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 Mm -hmm. Is that it, Gabriela? Yes. <laughs> you got five. Okay, very good. Did anybody get more than six? Hay alguno de ustedes que escribió más de seis? No? No. Okay, so Selena got the point. Selena, you got the most verbs, okay? All right, so now let's change two verbs that start with the letter W. You got 30 seconds. Write as many verbs that start with W as you can. Thank you. 
five seconds. Stop grinding. Okay, stop grinding, no more. Let's see, how many did you get, Carlos? <clears throat> White. Okay, right. Work, work. Right. Mm -hmm. Watch, where, win, um, work. Six, pretty good. Yes. Okay. Nice, Janet, how many did you get? Five, teacher. Five, okay. Can you tell us um, the verbs you got? Watch, wash, win, wanna, wish. Okay, pretty well. Gerardo, how many did you get? Seven. You got seven? Nice. Can you mention them, please? Wake. Mm -hmm. Wager. Okay. Warm. Yes. Waver. Watch. Wash. Y hay uno que no sé cómo se pronuncia. Can you spell it? W A S T E. Waste. Yes. Okay, very good. All right, so did anybody get more than seven verbs? Nobody? No. No. Okay, so Gerardo wins this round with seven <laughs> verbs. Pretty good. Okay, one more. Now let's write verbs that start with the letter C. All right, time's up. Stop grinding. And tell me, how many verbs did you get, Tamara? Um, <laughs> right, good, cool, shoes, come. Only four. Or I remember more, but no, no, it's a verb. No, neither action. Okay. <laughs> yes, only four. Okay, but that's good. Four is a good number, excellent. And how about Selena? How many did you get, Selena? Okay. How many? 12. 12, whoa, that's nice. Can you mention them? All right. Teacher, no sé cómo se pronuncia, by El primero es clean de limpiar. El otro es clean con MB. Cleaned. Cleaned. In the past. Cleaned. Cleaned. Ah. Colored food copy. Okay, great. Very nice, Selena. Good job. All right, so now let's continue. Um, so yesterday we stopped in here in the summer activities, right? So we just mentioned them. We had activities like go hiking, go swimming, have fun, have a picnic meet new people, meet old friends, play tennis, play volleyball, see a movie, see a play, 
We had also take a class, take pictures, and that was it. Um, I wanted to mention the meaning of this one, see a play. What's the meaning of that? Do you know it? What a uh, uh, soccer and the TV? Yeah. Mm, not really. That, that word play isn't referred to playing. Uh -uh. Okay. Any other idea about it? Ok, con la palabra play, en este caso, no nos confundamos porque suena como normalmente sabemos el verbo play, de jugar, podría sonar a que es un juego, ¿verdad? Pero no lo es. So, the meaning of the word play is, for example, when you go to the theater, you go to see a play. Ver una obra de teatro, ¿ok? A play sería una obra de teatro. Okay, and in the okay. case of the of the soccer thing, that could be a soccer match or even a game, soccer match or game. En el caso de juego, por ejemplo, de fútbol, como un partido de fútbol, sería soccer match. Or you could also say football game, for instance. O tenemos la palabra también game, que es para juego. Pero el caso de play es una obra, ¿ok? All right. So sí, now that we are... Much. So now that we are clear about the meaning of each of these activities, we are going to do some work with them. So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms for you to have a little talk about your last vacation. So did you do any of these activities in your last vacation, on your last vacation? Did you go hiking? Did you go swimming? Did you have fun on your last vacation? Well, tell your classmates, okay? So you take turns to ask questions and answer them, okay? So you go, for example, um, like this, Gerardo, did you go hiking on your last vacation? Gerardo? No, I didn't. Okay. So you keep on asking and answering, okay? Did you go swimming? Did you have a picnic? Did you meet new people? Did you take a class and so on? Just talk about your last vacation. Okay, so let me let me create the breakout rooms. Wait a little. I'm having trouble with the wake up break up rooms. Let's see. So let me see. Let me do it again. Oh no, I'm having trouble. Okay, let me send you now. I got it. So please accept the invitation and go to the breakout rooms.
Hola. Oh, hi, Claudia. Hi. Um, ¿Qué vamos a hacer, teacher? So you are going to ask and answer the questions, okay? So you have oh, to make some questions. La, yo answer, answer, uh, um, answer, uh, perdón, um, la question, yo tengo que hacer la question y ella me va a responder. Yeah, exactly, you take turns. So you talk about the different summer activities we mentioned previously. So I just sent a picture to our group in WhatsApp. So you can check it there. So okay. it goes like, for example, Carlos, did you go hiking on your last vacation? Did you go hiking on your last no, vacation? I, no, I didn't. Okay. And Claudia, did you go swimming on your last vacation? No, I didn't. Okay, so continue. You can continue by asking, did you have um, Claudia. Did, did you did you have a picnic? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, did you take a class in the, on the night? On the on the night? Yes. Okay. No, I didn't. Did you meet new people? Yes, I did. Okay. Did you meet old friends? Yes, I did. Did you play tennis? No, I didn't. Okay. Ahora Tamara y Gerardo. Okay, eh, Gerardo. Eh, did you went hiking? I'm sorry, did you go hiking? No, I didn't. Okay. If you Tú quieres me preguntas una y yo contesto después. Yo contesto y luego te pregunto yo otra. Did you go swimming? Yes, I did. Uh, okay. Did you have a picnic? A picnic? Yes, I did. Did you have a phone? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> Hi, Claudia. Hi. Carlos is gone. Uh-huh. <laughs> Creo que no, no quiere señal. Yeah, maybe. O no sé si yo soy, porque como acá está oh. lloviendo. Yes, but I guess um, he's having trouble. So did you finish with the questions and answers? Claudia? Oh, he's back. Did you finish with the asking and answering? Did you, did you play by volleyball? Sorry, teacher, se me fue la luz y, y, y acabo de regresar, pero, pero okay. hubo un apagón, por eso no se me desconectó. Ok, no te preocupes. Ahorita me está, me, está, me está preguntando ahorita. Um, yes, Claudia was asking. So, Claudia, can you uh, repeat, please? I, I answer. Did you play volleyball? Uh, no, I did. no, I didn't. Ah, I did. I didn't. I didn't. Mm -hmm. It's no, I didn't. Yeah. Exactly. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Okay. No, I didn't. Did you uh, take a 
a class? Oh, yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Thanks, Claudia. Very good. So we're back. So let's see. Did anybody go hiking on his or her last vacation? Anybody? No? Okay. So I guess nobody likes hiking. Nobody. All right. And how about swimming? Did anybody go swimming? Yes, my. Okay, Tamara. that is Tamara. Tamara, you went swimming. Okay, that's nice. And how about um, did it? Did you have fun on your last vacation? Yes. Did you all have fun or not? Okay, pretty good. Yes. And let's see, Janet, did you have a picnic on your last vacation? No, uh, I did not. Okay. And Selena, did you meet new people on your last vacation? Yes, I did. Okay, that's pretty cool. Gerardo, did you meet old friends on your last vacation? No, I didn't. You didn't. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Carlos, did you play tennis on your last vacation? No, I didn't on vacation. <laughs> okay. Claudia, did you play volleyball on your last vacation? No, I didn't. You didn't. Okay. Good. All right. Pretty good. So let's move on. Now let's talk about today's lesson objectives. So by the end of this class, you will be able to form positive and negative statements with the past of B. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So today we're talking a little bit about the past of B, which is was and where, okay? So let's start with the conversation. First of all, let me play the video. We are going to listen to the conversation. Just pay attention. And remember to take notes of any new word that you want, the, that you want to know the meaning of, or maybe the pronunciation. You want to check pronunciation. Just take notes. Let me just do it again. Okay, there we are. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart. Okay, so that's the conversation. Let's just get back to the presentation. Okay, so here we have it. Um, so first of all, can you tell me, um, where is Melissa from? Where was she born? Korea. She was Korea. born Korea. in Korea, right? Korea. And how about um, Chuck, I think it's his name. So what's the man's nationality or where was he born? U.S. In the U.S., that's right. 
So here we have the conversation. Um, I want you to tell me if you have any questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation of any word. Pronunci pronunciation is weren't. Weren't, exactly, weren't. Okay. Or not. Yes, that is the contracted form for Contraction. were not. Contraction. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Exactly. Any other question? Is it clear? Um, tell me. Oh, this one right away. So um, that would be like immediately. Esa frase sería eh, las dos palabras juntas, right away. Es como inmediatamente, por ejemplo, um, cuando va a un restaurante y pide comida, tal vez el mesero le diga, ok, I'll bring it right away. Se la traigo ahorita, en este momento, inmediatamente, or like pretty quickly, ok? So that is right away. And is it clear um, with the word born? Do you understand what it means? Where were you born? Donde naciste. Donde naciste, no, right? Donde nació Meli. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, so now let's take some turns to practice reading the conversation. Let's see, do I have volunteers to read? Hi, teacher. Okay, so that would be Gerardo and Tamara. Okay, Gerardo, you start. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born Korea. So you, oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 199, I don't know if 1999 okay. or 1999. <laughs> so 1999 is fine. Okay. 1999, okay. Mm, you, you were pretty young. Yes, it was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, English was very good, so I took English class uh, for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah but I was born here. Excellent. Thank you, Gerardo and Tamara. Okay, do I have a second pair to help me to read? I see Gabriela's hand up. So Gabriela, and who else? Maria, Melissa. Yes, yes, Gabriela, you are Melissa. And who's reading for Chuck? Let's see, Thank any volunteers? Sure. Okay, Janet, thanks. You can start now. But where were where you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in... 1999. 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right now? Right away? No, my English was very good. So I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is already good now. Thanks. 
your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, well done, Janet and Gabriela. Thank you. Okay, just a little comment about the number. So um, remember that numbers that go in four um, ciphers, we have, um, we can divide them into two, okay? So we can mention the first two numbers and then the second two, like 1999. Or if we had like, let's see, um, 2029, for instance, 2029. Or another example could be um, 1897. So you divide it into two. La forma más fácil de, de decir esos números es dividiéndolos en dos cifras, en dos eh, números, ¿verdad? Entonces menciono primero, los primeros dos, como en el caso de este 19 or 20, 18. Y luego, pues, los otros dos, los uno, like 99, 29, 97. Esa sería la forma más fácil. Si lo quiero hacer de la forma larga, pues tengo que decir primero los miles, luego los cientos, and then the other numbers, right? Like 1,999, okay? So this would be 1,999. Or in this case, we have um, 2,029 or 1,897, okay? Ahí va, entonces los miles serían 1,000, luego los hundreds, los cientos, y luego pues agregamos el número del 1 al 100, dependiendo lo que tengamos ahí. Bueno, del 1 al 99 sería. So... 1, 2, 19, 20, um, 37, 98, or just whatever number we have at the end. Okay, so let's talk about the past. So for the past of B, we have two different forms. Which ones? What are the forms of the verb be in the past? Maybe was what? and where. All right, we have was, was and, and we have where. And in the negative, we have wasn't and weren't, right? Wasn't, weren't. Very good. Okay, so remember that we're talking about a very special verb. So it's always different. El verb be es un verbo muy especial en inglés, entonces siempre lo tratamos de forma diferente. En el presente, ustedes saben que tiene tres formas. Am, is, and are. Right? And we have a whole lesson or unit in order to learn that, right? I am, you are, he is, she is, they are, and so on. So it's similar in the past. También el pasado es bastante peculiar. Entonces, tenemos dos tipos diferentes de pasado para el verb be, que serían was y were. Cuando los utilizo, tengo un, una de las formas asignada para cada uno de los sujetos. For example, for I, do I say was or were? Was. was. I was, right? You. Was. You was or was. were? No, no, where, 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 you where, 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 right? You were. Where. Okay, how about the case of she? Was. She was. Was. He was. Was. She was. And it? Was. 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 It was, right? So we use was for I, he, she, and it. And how about we? What do we use? Was or were? Where. Was. Where. We were, right? We they? They. We were. 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 They were, right? Okay. So were. for where, we have three Thank different you. subjects. That is you, we, and they. So we say I was, he was, she was, it was, 
but we say you wear, we wear, and they mm -hmm. wear. Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. I was. I was. I was. I was. He was. I was. He was. He was. He was. She was. She was. It was. It was. You were. You were. were. We were. We were. We were. They were. They were. They were. Pretty good. So the structure that we follow in order to make sentences using was or were is the following. We have the subject, then we use was or were, and then we simply add a complement. As in the examples, I was very happy. Subject, I was, and then the complement, very happy. Next example says, she was a doctor. She was a doctor. Then we have, they were married for five years. And you were really angry. You were really wow. angry. So that's the way you use the verb be in the past. So you use was or were. And it's pretty simple because you only need three elements, the subject, the verb, and then a complement. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, so now it's time to practice. We are going to unscramble some sentences. So here <clears throat> I have a sentence. It's not in the right order. We are going to put it in the correct order, okay? So let's see, take a look at it and tell me what's the sentence. I was at the school. I was at school, exactly. I was at school. Okay. Now let me see, I got another one. Any idea? You about were. That? Yes. You were hungry and thirsty. Hungry and thirsty. Do you know the meaning of thirsty? I don't know. Okay, so that is when you need to drink water, okay? So hungry, when you need to eat, right? When you need some food. And thirsty, when you need to drink water. Estar sediento. Water. Sediento, sed. Estar sediento, tener sed. Okay? So hungry, hambriento, thirsty, sediento. Mm, sediento. Yes. Okay. Here we have another sentence. Can you unscramble it? You were very sad. You were very sad. You were very sad. Okay, number four. Martin was at the hospital. Martin was at the hospital. Number five, Selena. Mm -hmm. We were we were we were tired on it's the other way around pretty tired. tired okay very good pretty tired in este caso ese pretty estaría actuando como tired. intensifier como cuando decimos very like we were very tired, we were pretty tired, we were really tired. 
Todos esos son para decir muy, ¿verdad? Estaba muy, estábamos muy cansados. We were pretty tired. Okay, next one is for you, Carlos. <laughs> Carlos, can you help um, me with the next one? <clears throat> Where? No, no, sorry, sorry. sorry. It's okay. Um, Paris and I, 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 Paris and family. Mm, take it, um, please. So it starts with my. My. Oh, my, my. I can. Try. My, my, okay. my work. My family and I were in the Paris. Exactly. My family and I were in Paris. Okay. My family and I were in Paris. Very good. Okay. okay now let's work with number seven. Let's see who hasn't participated. Um, Claudia? The where? Um, the? The, the, the where? Mm, check it, please. Can somebody else help, please? The kids. The, the kids. The kids. Uh, where at the cinema. Where at the cinema. Exactly. Pretty well. The kids were at the cinema. Number eight. Any ideas? It day. It was, it was, it was a rainy day. A day a rainy, a rainy. Day. It was a rainy day. Very good. A rainy day. It was a rainy day. Okay. Number nine. Picasso. Picasso. Picasso was. Uh, Painter Spanish. Okay, um, we say a Sorry. Spanish painter. Okay, Picasso Spanish was painter. a Spanish, Spanish painter. painter. And the last one. My grandfather was a pilot. Exactly, my grandfather was a pilot. Okay, pretty good. Any questions about any of the sentences? No questions? Okay. So then, well, we do not have time for this activity. We are going to do it tomorrow. Let me just tell you about the homework. We're going to have a little homework today. I need you to imagine your, your perfect vacation. So what would be your dream vacation? So imagine that you already had your dream vacation and write about it. So you can go like, I had a perfect vacation. I went to Dubai, for instance. I bought a lot of clothes, jewelry, and shoes. I went for a ride in a very luxurious car. I also bought a tiger. <laughs> okay, so just imagine, right? So I want you to imagine your perfect vacation and write about it. Vamos a escribir sobre nuestra vacación perfecta asumiendo que ya la tuvimos. Lo vamos a hacer en el pasado, ¿ok? Entonces, imagínese eh, todo lo que usted haría en una vacación de ensueño. A donde iría, con quienes iría, qué compraría, qué haría. So, imagine that it has happened. Imaginemos que ya pasó y vamos a describirlo de esa forma. I had a perfect vacation. I went to Mexico with some friends. 
Um, we went to Cancun. We swam with dolphins. Ahí imagínese tantas posibilidades, ¿verdad? So please, write a little bit about your perfect, perfect vacation and we are going to share with the whole class tomorrow. Ok. okay. Escriben ahí Great. un poquitín okay. algunas ideas y mañana vamos a compartir en clase. Ok, okay. so um, just remember to continue working in the platform. We only have two days to close the course. Solamente tenemos dos días para eh, cerrar el curso. Sé que en la plataforma nos aparece una fecha diferente, pero de igual forma, ustedes ya sabían con anterioridad de que el curso en realidad termina el viernes 6. Entonces, el viernes 6 a la medianoche cerramos lo que es la plataforma y pues solamente van a pasar al siguiente curso los que hayan completado al menos un 80% del trabajo en plataforma. Así es que si no hemos llegado al menos al 80%, sí les pido que nos pongamos a trabajar ahí un poquitín en lo que queda de este día, mañana y el viernes para que logremos ser promovidos al siguiente curso. Es importante recalcar que aunque ya hayan entregado sus documentos para inscribirse al siguiente módulo, pues no se aceptan hasta que ha aprobado el nivel. Los que ya completaron y obtuvieron su diploma, perfect. Congratulations, ¿ok? All right, so that's it. Take care. Thank See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night, good night everybody. Good night.